up at RBC, you're about to watch our next uh, bottle review. If you guys love this content like we do, please like and subscribe us. Hey, yo, we are live. Let's go. What's up at RBC? Let's do a review. Let's do a review. Let's do a review. Tonight, we're going to do our top five under 50. Top five under 50. Well, top five and $50. I up like to, it. Up to $50. I like it. Because we do have one that's 50 bucks. I like it. Hey, but before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Get some swag. Yeah, get some, get some cool swag. Hats. Yeah, we got shirts. Yeah. yeah, we got some good stuff going on. Yeah. All right, so we're doing five bottles under fifty bucks. Yep, our favorite ones. I almost threw in a six, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to mess it up. Five fifty sounds better than six for fifty. So I like. It. We're gonna go in price range. So we're you know we'll start at fifteen bucks and then we'll work up to fifty dollars. Fifteen bucks. There's yeah. no bourbon for fifteen dollars <laughs> that tastes any good. I uh, disagree. All right, let's do it. What's our first one? All right, fifteen bucks. First bourbon for fifteen bucks. It's a plastic bottle. It is a plastic bottle. Look at that. Ancient, ancient age, ten star. So, if you guys have been following us, um, we did do this review against the uh, tried and true, allegedly blends. Um, both same mash bill, ninety proof of this one is aged about three years. They used to actually make this as a ten year bourbon. Yeah. Uh, but now it's a 10 star. It's about a three year age. And, you know, 15 bucks. Can't beat it. And, and as you know from my review, this beat blends. Uh, so, great, great bottle. Great right? bottle. You should have this on your shelf. Should have it on well, your shelf. You should have it in your closet. Or. <laughs> Or you could just pour this in your Blanton's bottle mm. and it's, tell people it's Blanton's when it's really aging. Hey, that's my secret. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes the same, right? It tastes the same. Great bottle. It is a good bucks. bottle. Um, you can mix it. You can eat. You can put it on ice. Uh, Manhattan's Old Fashioned's great. Uh, it's a good starter bourbon, too, right? Yeah. It's 90 proof. It's an easy sipper. It is a high ride. It is our mash build, too. Um, but it drinks really good. It's a great It's really bourbon. smooth. Yeah. Every time I go to the liquor store and see it, I have to buy it. Yeah, I agree. It's a great bourbon. All right. All right. What's, What's number next? two? Ah, I love this bourbon. <clears throat> All right. Early times. Early times, bottled and bond. Bottled and bond. Man, this this is one of my favorites. I I don't disagree with that. Delicious. Um, it is terrific. Uh, it's another uh, Kentucky straight bourbon. Um, so I will say this. <laughs> So up until 2020, Early Times uh, was owned by uh, Brown Foreman. Um, they distilled this uh, since 1860. It was spectacular. The difference, and now it's been sold to Sazerac in 2020. The difference is the top, right? Yeah. So the label stays the same. The Brown Foreman it has a black top, and then Sazerac stayed with the traditional blue top. Um I personally prefer the Brown Foreman. Uh, don't get me wrong. This is still great. Obviously, this is our top five for 50. So this no is doubt. an incredible bottle. Uh, yeah. But caveat, I did, I do love the Brown Foreman. So if you can't find a black top, buy it. It's incredible. And hang on to it because you probably won't find any more. Uh, but it's a leader. Yes, that's right. It is a leader. So that's uh, even better. For 25 bucks. 25 bucks. It's 100 proof. It's aged four years. And um, yeah, it's tried and true. I think. Um, so this, you know, as you know, for years, this was our pre drink before we started our tasting. That's right? right. You know, like I said before, if you watch the review on the tasting and the, um, the nose uh, or the smell, uh, you want to start with a lower proof bourbon. You don't want to burn your taste buds out. So these are these are perfect ones to start with, right? Lower proof, yeah. And then you can move on to some barrel strength or you know some uh, some single barrels that are higher proof. But great bottle, twenty five bucks. That's right. Seventy nine percent corn, eleven percent rye, and ten percent malted barley. That's so, right. True. So, so funny story. So we typically don't do videos together. That's right? right. We don't. That's so right. Typically, it's one on one. So tonight we're shooting this video, and our wives right now are in the background <laughs> acting crazy. Um, Facts. Pretty funny. So since they're so funny, 
and they think they're so funny. What we're going to do is we're actually going to get them to do a recording of some bourbon. Oh, yeah. After that's this good, one. That's actually not a bad idea. And then idea. we're going to mess with them mm. so we can see how that goes. So, okay. All right. All number right. three. What the is right here. number three? Is, she's giving me the middle finger right She now. is. That's me. She is. It's just me. <laughs> All right. Number three. Tried and true, baby. It's got to be in there, right? Has to be. You can't. You cannot. Has to be. If if you are if you are a bourbon lover, you have to appreciate and love Buffalo Trace. You have to. You can hate on their other products. Uh, you know, everyone kind of bashes Blanton's, um, but that's the it. winner, man. This is I it. agree. It is a lower proof, uh, which I you know I would have preferred it to be a little higher, but. Uh, it's a great bottle. Every time I find it, I buy it. I bring it to parties. Everyone loves it. They're like, oh, my God, you bought Buffalo Trace. And then I'll drink most of it and leave the rest. Yes. And they yeah. think it's the greatest thing ever. Do they so, so we have blind tasted so many bourbons. Mm -hmm. And Buffalo Trace, we've blind tasted twice, twice. now. And it's ranked 95. It did. Yeah. 95 One, and 92, I think, yeah. maybe. Yeah. One of our members, Court. Yeah. Who has been drinking bourbon with us for a while? Yep, he swears by this stuff. He does. This is the only bourbon he likes, and he compares it to everything else. And he scored it the same exact score both the times. Exact same. So, if you find it, get it. Tried and true. It's delicious. Yeah. So this is, um, yeah, ninety proof. It's aged six years. They say seven to nine, but I think it's a six year age, uh, and it's thirty bucks. Um, again, 75% corn, 10% rye, and that 15% barley. Um, incredible notes on this, you know, sweet, mellow, brown sugar. It's just a great, great, great sipper. Bourbon. Great sipper. And if you get a chance to go to Buffalo Trace, mm. even better. We did a review on when we went to Buffalo Trace. Yes. So check that out, too. Yeah, the reviews oh, there are incredible. They're free. You have to book it way in advance. They, they book up fast because they are free, but awesome reviews. All right, next up is number four. <laughs> Evan Williams. Evan Williams. Delicious. Yep. Bottle and bond, it's terrific. 100 proof, it's a four year bourbon. 35 bucks here in North Carolina. Uh, it is terrific. So. I really, really appreciate this bottle. Um, this is another high corn, 78% corn, 12% barley, 10% rye. Uh, the notes on this are phenomenal. Yes. Right? Um, you get the peanut brittle, some chocolate notes, tons of sugar. You get that dark fruit. Um, we actually did a review of this against the H. Taylor Small Batch, which I love yes you do i love it and uh i did i did outscore i did score the evan or the e.h taylor higher uh but i think i scored them almost That's like right. 86 and an 85 crazy um but you can find this on the shelf you can find it everywhere on the shelf 35 bucks it's an incredible bottle um the finish again is chocolate. It's almost like a like a payday candy bar. Yeah. Um, nice a nice Kentucky hug, but a beautiful beautiful glass. Yeah. Um, Great bottle. A bourbon. Can't beat it. All right, Evan Williams. Evan Next Williams. up, what's our number? Number five. This one <laughs> is delicious. This one's good. I agree. Yeah, Evan, Evan Hill. Hill. The, so, best, the best of the great Kentucky bourbons, yeah, as they put on the back. It is. You know, Heaven Hill is a family-owned uh, distillery. Uh, they've been around forever, since 1935, I think. Um, super great. If you guys go there, the tours are incredible. The guides are great. Even if you just do a tasting, those are phenomenal. Yeah. You get a little tipsy. I think we were pretty drunk when we left there. But Your wife is um, making funny faces. <laughs> so... So this is a great bottle, right? So they just started making these. Um, so these, this is, again, another super high corn, 78% corn, 12% uh, malted barley, and 10% rye. Actually, the exact same of the Evan Williams. Um, the Everything about this bottle just screams deliciousness. Yes, like this, is. this is a bottle that you must have. Yes. And it's pretty easy to find. It was yeah. hard for a while. I think I brought eight or nine bottles back from New York a couple of years ago when it came out. Um, but that's a terrific, terrific bottle. 50 bucks. 
you know, still around that, that normal price point for bourbons. Um, so the interesting thing is, uh, up until 2019, um, before they released the seven year, Heaven Hill had their six year, their green label. Now this is bottled at 90 proof and this is exclusive to Kentucky. You can't buy this anywhere else, but it's a $15 bottle and it's incredible. As you can tell, I'm nursing it cause I'll never find another one of these, yeah. unfortunately, cause they're discontinued. But delicious if you can bottle. find this, buy it. Delicious. But bottle. They went up a year, went up a little bit in price, but this one did not disappoint, man. This, this was an incredible bottle. So what would you say, man, out of these five, if you had to pick, what, what would be your top five in order if you had to pick? Um, wow, that's tough. So I would say I think that's my number one. Evan Hill, number one. Yep. I think I'll go Trace, two. I'll go Evan Williams, three. Mm, yeah, I think so. And then early times, and I think I'd go Woo. Agent. That's a tough one. Uh I think these, I think, well, I think these three are hard. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, I think one and two probably stand out. I think uh, these could these could be equal. So I'll say one, two, and then three. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, what do you think? All right, so my top five is I would switch this one. Okay. And I would put this here. Oh, okay. That would be my order. All right. I love Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Always have. It's so good. That early times, that darker bourbon, I get a little bit of raisin. Yeah, um, sure. But the Heaven Hill is great. But I would I would say this order. This is definitely a All right. good bourbon. Can't I like go it. wrong with any of them if you can find them. Yes. If you can find them. Cool. Thank you, guys. Just wanted to jump on and shoot that. I hope you guys love this content. Please leave some comments, like, and subscribe us. Stay tuned for some stuff. We're going to stream the movie Neat next week. Uh, you guys will love it. June it's 14th, free for you right? guys. June 14th, yep. National Bourbon Day. So right. um, please log in, follow us, hit us on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, and we love you guys. Thank you. Slam that subscribe.